Hey everybody, my brother and I went to four different places today to look for baseball cards. The first was this indoor flea market called Rossi's. Please hit that subscribe button and check it out. Who? Who did I found you? MVP fans. It's like Juju. Well, listen, this little bit ago I said, who's your favorite stealer? Did you get a press order, Ma? So listen, She's 10 seconds went by, Chris, and then she put it out in my hand. Oh, yeah. She'll remember it. Hey, did you talk about it? Get some hockey boxes, that's about it. Yeah, I grabbed that. I don't know, like all my CD together. I bought them. Oh, get zippy. Whoa, whoa, daddy out there? Yeah. Might as well. Move stuff out. Five dollars. Six slabs. Five for all three. I'll take two pictures here. Guess what I'll do? Empty. I got you. Keep that box. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. There's a lot of 90s in here though. Is it? It's the other one. Yeah. A lot of 90s. Keith Hernandez for three. Uh, might as well. Excuse me. I think I did Hello? like a year ago, I think like three each. They did have a year ago. Then we're on the other side. I don't know. The new sweeper was down here. You didn't touch it, did you? Got it, Nancy? Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. We'd be better off just going to one of those card stores. I told you like my truck while the dog was on the table. I haven't seen any. About a half hour. Yeah. So it's probably, it didn't come through that high floor. It's one ramen pack. Probably like yeah. three bucks for it. So it's still on the property. Huh? Yeah. 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 Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for boxes of these. It smells like pure dirt over here. Yeah, I know. 88 top trader for. I got lucky when I came out and made a nice attack on one of the softs. I was going to see Jeff if I'm going to make an offer. Yeah, I'll be sitting there for a year. Do I get a flea peek and then maybe one of those card stores? Our next stop was Flea Teak near Irwin, Pennsylvania. Sometimes they've got some good baseball cards in there. Last time I was there, I picked up a 90 Tops rack box for eight bucks.
probably been like four or five months since I've been in here. Superstars, 80s baseball subjects, oddball sets. True value. Wasn't very. Here's an 86 Quaker. I don't know if there's any value to those. Burger King cards. Frickin' Bill North. 1980 Burger King. Complete sets. 1994 Collector's Choice, it looks like in there. And Fleer. And like 90. 96 or 97 Fleer. Baseball greats. What are these? 1990. 12 bucks? Is that kind of high? Yeah, 5 bucks maybe. David Freeze for 50 cents. I hated these things so bad. Two dollars. Those were just getting away. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I think those were here before. How much are they? 18 bucks. 18 bucks for 92. <laughs> yeah, it's like factory sealed. Yeah, it's like all opened up. It's missing like 20 cards. I <laughs> know. 1990s mix. Stuff's been there for a year. Here it is. This must this be the guy. Twenty bucks for eighty-seven bonds. Yeah. Been here what? Two months. Autographed Austin fish for twenty bucks. Why is that bonds twenty bucks? How much is that Smith? Twenty. Yeah. All over twenty. Yeah, that, that's a ridiculous price for bonds. Yeah, this must be, this must be the guy that they're talking about. Yeah, I hard. think this is the guy they're talking about. The new guy. Twenty-five cents each. All right, so we decided to leave empty-handed. We're 0 for 2. The next step on the game plan was to go to a card store. We ultimately decided to go back to Victor's in Uniontown at the Uniontown Mall. The last time we did a video there was back in March. And you guys seem to really love this store and love Victor, so let's go back and pay him a visit. Ghostbusters box. Oh my god. Right, right I'll, 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 did you still have the tickets? See it? I said, yeah, I keep it. Oh, wow, Ghostbusters 2. And we're going to start another one right now. Yeah. What's a loose pack down there? Well, it's going to go at least 10 more years because he has all those little stickers. That kind of stuff. Especially when you tie just on screens. It's just that. That would be. What's up, fellas? Hey, how's it going? Are oh, you guys doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, where's this thing at? Let me show you this thing for y'all. As a Penn State fan, oh. wow. that game was 
Both teams were undefeated. That's the There's game. a Soto Gallery yeah. rookie for seven. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Seventy-five dollars. They're handmade by. A Thank you. Thank you so we much for everything. Master. Got a lot of mantles down here. Yeah, I see that. And these are. Uh, I forget what the hell the word is. Third month seventy one forty. You put the money in there and then oh, the kid wakes up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's big. I can't even tell you what. This is solos. Four years had tough people players mm -hmm. scared me real quick. Scared to death. Calvert and Vermont. Right here. It's pretty sick. Spike Allen. Yeah, what you guys been up to? Not too much. How you been? Just speaking about the pirates for like 20 minutes. <laughs> what do you mean. think of that right now? I mean, what do you do? Yeah, they're Coonley, He's gone. Hardle, that. How does that fix anything? You gotta think Huntington's next. What do you guys think? Is that some kind of? Is he? I think Huntington's he's Mr. Child. I mm -hmm. think he's. <laughs> I, serious. How does he survive this? I have no idea. He has to be. I think they're trying to appease the fans by getting rid of Hurdle and. But Hurdle deserves it because the built-in off day for a 24-year-old outfield. Yeah, I know. I mean, the hardest thing you do is jog from the dugout to right field, and you call that work. Right. Most days, you, the guys don't even catch a fly ball. But I mean, how does how does Huntington survive the the last now Meadows trade? Yeah, you would figure he'd be the first to go. That was an awful trade. You'll be looking that, back on that one for the next decade, regretting well, it. Well, the part two of that is when he tried to trade Rivera to the Dodgers and was trying to get Lux instead Yeah, Smith. Gavin Lux. Yeah. How many shortstops do you need? Exactly. And you have absolute butt cheeks as a catcher. The whole organization. <laughs> I know. We'll have there's everybody. no catching anywhere. That's, I, I've been pissed for six months about the Pirates. Yeah, I'm a season ticket holder. I've been since uh, 2007. I'm, I didn't renew my tickets this year. Did, really? Yep. So how's you guys been? How have you guys been? Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good? Yeah, busy. Same here. You got any more boxes, Victor? I'm out of all that stuff right really? now. Yeah, oh. I'm trying to get a hold of stuff. It's hard to get a hold of that right now. Yeah. Because people say they have it and they're going to bring it in and they never do. Right. What I'm getting now is... <laughs> Wrestling stuff. Yeah, I noticed that. 55 Tops Clemente rookie. Pretty sick. It's a Juan Soto Auto Relic. 180. That's pretty sick. Oh, if he's got a stack of them, that might not be a bad deal right there. Ten bucks. Tops Heritage. Oh, I don't know. Why don't we get this? Uh, high school stuff. Alonzo. Alonzo. High school autographs. Uh, this is all junk. Here, you guys can see anything you want. I don't care. Get this out of your way. You guys don't do basketball, right? No, just baseball. This is old junk pirate box. You might find some weird stuff in there. There's some Kellogg's and all that in there. You bought that last time you were here off of me, I think. You're good on bonds. Yeah. Ready for heartbreak? One on one. <laughs> Oh, nice. Again, one on one. Uh, here's some weird stuff. Cloth cards. From oh, 77. yeah. I remember these. I actually got a Bly Lightning recently. I uh, wonder if the yellow rookies in here anymore. I already bought that many dollars. <laughs> I got it for like a buck last year. That's worth like 75 bucks now. Is it really? Oh, 
Which one did you get the top? Yeah. Greatest book ever made. Did you ever see one of those? Yeah, I've seen those, but not yeah. for the Pirates. I have a every couple picture. of those. Yeah, pictures of every card. pretty awesome. Yeah, I love those books. They should have made more of these, for sure. You saw those, didn't you? I know where I came out. The Mark Jackson crap with the hoops basketball. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, with the Hernandez brothers on the back. Oh, yeah, somebody sent me that card, actually, yeah. Wait, the this is the best part of it. Yes, somebody actually sent it to me. Right behind you. Check this out. This is like after they killed their parents a couple days later. This is the card. Yes, Anywhere from fifty to a thousand dollars, someone actually yeah. has it up for five grand because the two imbeciles are behind it. Yeah. Okay, this shows the stupidity of the modern card collector. That's a crazy card. It's on eBay, the wax box, for twelve dollars. Really? Twelve dollars. <laughs> so you can, go, you can, you can go, get two of them out of here them, for twelve bucks. You can go bucks. buy them and sell it. For if you ever want to know that if this card, I'm gonna buy a bunch of the boxes. If you ever hear that this kind of card is rare, <laughs> just hunt the wax box yeah. and see what the wax yeah. box is worth. Now you know it's a hoax. Yeah, exactly. That's the crazy. The Griffey with the stain on the elbow. You seen that garbage? The 1990 so. tops. It's the pick, just the blue bordered card mm -hmm. and Griffey's standing something like this. Oh yeah, the gold cup yeah. card. Yeah, for it, sure. It I don't know if it's stain on his elbow. You have to look on eBay and look That's at the crazy. stupidity of that. Let's Every that one out. of them has a red stain. It's like the, like the 87 Bonds. bonds. printing error on the Bonds rookie card. Like Did I'm, you know there's you have one down there. The 320, part of the three is rubbed off. Which one? And, and people have been selling tops. it. Uh, Bonds. People have sold on there for like a thousand bucks. Yeah. For like Are you kidding me? They say it's a printing error on the three because it's missing at the bottom. This garbage. The bottom hook every of this single one three of these, is gone. Every, every one of these cards has that same exact printing error. So the three is like kind of rubbed off. Yeah. There. So if you were selling for a thousand bucks, like actually in sold list, they yeah. a thousand bucks or more. You're going to with like two grand just because of that printing error on every single one. Crazy. That's that is crazy. Girl walks in here yesterday. Oh, well, I know it's a lot of cards. I know people, are, people want it. Because the Menendezes are in the back. Yeah. Satan there's superimposed them on a couple <laughs> cars. There's so many that car in existence. So many. This yeah. is the most populated set probably of all. I'm this is 88 Fleer base. <laughs> Those are the. Uh, they yeah. never turned the printing presses off. Right. Yeah. But, and somehow, oh, the Menendezes are in the background. That must mean it's worth more money. How? <laughs> <Ow>. Right. <laughs> Did you tell me to find these numbers on these cards? Yeah, it's the bet down all that. Like this one was 588, this one's 300. There's a snowflake parallel in there. Eric Green. I thought that was either of you. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Can I take them out and we'll ask them? Yeah. Toss for a moment. Double all of that. Are these the 30s? The Series 2 are the $30 ones, or is that wrong? Yeah, these are the update. The Series 2 one is like, um, like a $300 card. That's the SSP. Yeah, those are the two. Those mm. Fives and tens? Sound good? That sounds good. Sound good? You want them all, or you just want individual? Which one? I would take five them all. Five and ten. For you guys. Yeah, I should have had these priced. The knucklehead would have done something other than stand there and argue with me. Five, five, ten. Yeah. Everybody's trying to find them. I'll take those two. I'll take the rest of them. The best way would be to just to get a box. Okay. What'd she do with the rest of those cards? You Did she take the cards? I think I'll take all of them you don't get. Probably. You bought one card for five dollars. I'm going to kill them. I wanted the rest of those cards. That's a Roethlisberger to 199. Yeah, we got five on it. Okay, I'll take. What do we got there? That's say twenty. Sound good? Oh, not a problem. So you got twenty here. What is five ten? Just do twenty both. You guys. Okay, that's fine. Sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. There's twenty for that. Thank you. You no mind if we you mind you mind if we use footage of us and spine us? It wouldn't be like a you're on yeah, a video. Go ahead. That's 
That's it's like our weekend recap. We haven't bought anything yet. This is our third stop. Here's another. This is old football. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, this is old football. Flea market's been real dry recently. Where are you guys going? Yeah. Well, today we stopped off at two places. They had nothing. We went to Ro we went to Rossi's. We went to an indoor flea market. Flea Peak. In Adams, Adamstown, You're coming from Irwin towards Irwin. Yeah, Williams it was Irwin. Today. It's down in the dip. Yeah. It's it's nothing there either. The, the second floor uh, used to have some decent stuff on it. Yeah. There's, there's a couple dudes that sell cars in there, but it's all picked over. Yeah, don't don't fall for that. Thanks a lot, Victor. All right, Victor. You guys, seriously, try, try keep to in touch. Out, uh, around Thanksgiving or something. You, and our last stop on the day would be to just go right down the hallway from the baseball card store to an antique mall known as Crown Plaza Antiques. Sometimes they've got some baseball cards. Let's check it out. Oh, nice. Crap sets. Stony Marte. Be sick to find some like sodas and candies in a box like this that no one yeah. ever looks through. That would be sweet. Ones have been in there for a while. Here's that. Here's what he was talking about over in the store. Stain on the elbow, elbow Griffey. I've never even noticed that before. Oh Home run. 92 Don Ross, 92 play. It's just a bunch of. That's yeah. awful. I had his card when I was a kid. Okay. But I, I never saw him play. Okay. Where's Winfield yeah. Griffey? Yeah, but I. I didn't pay much attention to American League. Mm -hmm. Collect for fun and profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Profit? Stickers? Only person who's going to profit off that is that so that that top 3D pack? I think that's super. Top super? Or wait, oh yeah, like that, is, that is a 3D. 3D. And then these are 85 top super. What a pile of trash. There's those rub down ones. Yeah, and those are the stickers. Those are the supers. Dave Parker. What a pile of trash. Nine, Nine bucks. bucks. This should be like a buck. Yeah, they used to have those like variety packs from Don Ross. Oh, sweet. How much is that? I don't know. What's that, Nolan Ryan plot? Vaughn Hayes. Vending box. Well, all searched. Yeah, I want to buy them. I'll grab one of these, hoping to maybe we can find a new place around here. You Thank you. All right, everybody, we are back from those four stops, and this is all that we have to show for it. Luckily, we went to Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles, and there's a really awesome dude there named Victor. You guys love the video that we did with Victor back in March. We'll probably do a full feature uh, video on that store sometime in November and December. Um, but for today, it was just a little cameo for Victor and his card store, and this is all we picked up. Um, my brother picked up three Acuna Junior rookies, and I picked up um, also three. We got the Topps Update Acunas, as you can see right here. Not the bat down, but the bat up, the regular Acuna. And also a Chrome rookie card, Topps Chrome from last year, of Ronald Acuna Jr. And also a Christian Yelich rookie from Bowman Chrome. So all of these were... Um, 20 bucks for all these. So basically these two were 10 and then basically got these two for free. So great deal. The other places couldn't really find anything that was a great deal. So we didn't end up buying anything. It seems like some of our 
Um, flea markets and antique malls are kind of going a little bit dry, so we might have to kind of expand our radius and travel a little bit more in some coming weeks. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we have a live stream of 2019 Topps Triple Threads. It just came out last week. We'll be breaking, looks like, two cases of it. So I hope to see you all in the live stream tomorrow. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button because we do new baseball card videos every single day. So until tomorrow, I will see you all later.